Hey guys, Mr. Freddy here, here, and in today's video, I want to discuss the problems for war games and why many people dislike the map in front of the defense. Now, in front of the defense, every single map has a notification built into them that allows you to understand where the enemies are spawning to and how you can counter them with the correct setup. However, in war games, that rule is slightly different, as in harder difficulties, the map becomes a cluster of a mess, with things becoming too chaotic and unpredictable to fight against. In easy, normal, and sometimes hard mode, it's quite easy to fight against and encounter the AI, and survive without seeing too much damage brought to the harvester, as the enemy routes are very simple and easy to counter, such as the left flank always dropping Roman legions, monarchs and scorches, the middle lane holding reapers, monarchs and ronins, and the right lane with ronin, tone and monarchs, and sometimes the drones as well. The only way for you to mess up is if you have a missing person on your team, or there's not enough support from your friendlies, as they're too out of reach from the main objective. And from this you can generally learn from your mistakes through retries and different defense setups, as the enemy AI are a bit more lax on their, on their action and damage output. But the moment you hit hard, master and insane, that's where a lot of players tend to argue that the map is unfairly designed, with not many ways of countering the threat. For starters, all enemy AI do a lot more damage than normal when compared to easy or normal mode. This makes Brunts and Titans a major threat than ever before, as they can strip the shield of the half cell within a few shots. Now on other maps this isn't a problem, as everyone can get back to the objective quickly and regroup on their offence, but on war games with the many buildings and chaotic AI everywhere, it makes it a whole lot harder to regroup and makes the one player that decides to stay back to try and defend as much as possible a suicidal mission for them. On top of that, the placement of the harvester isn't what I call the best or suitable area for us to protect it. Like I said previously, with all the building and structures gone, it allows us the players to set up a good line of defence to counter the enemies. But in higher defences, that defence can only last so long. The placement of the harvester is probably the worst area for objective to be placed at, as it's too open for enemies to see and shoot at. On top of that, the placement of the harvester isn't what I call the best or suitable area for us to protect it. Like I said previously, with all the buildings and structures around it, it allows us the players to set up a good line of defence to counter the enemies. But in higher rounds, that defence can only last so long. The placement of the harvester is probably the worst area for the objective to be placed at, as it's too open for enemies to see and shoot at. And take it to round 3, where enemy legions and monarchs are to drop fairly quickly on the outskirts of the map, the enemy legions will walk slowly towards the objective, while shooting at it in burst while the monarchs will charge at the harvester to get in as close as possible, while doing a lot of damage with their primaries and rockets. And this is just the left lane remember, we also have to deal with the middle lane that are full of tick mines and reapers, and the right lane that becomes a complete cluster of ions and monarchs, and sometimes tones as well. You would think that the map lanes for enemies would be easy to counter and fight back against in higher difficulties, since it's just three lanes to focus on. But that seems to be proven wrong with this map, as no matter how hard you set up your defences, the enemy AI just need to strip your shield for you to go downhill. Also add in the mortar titans that can destroy the high stuff from the back of the map, and really this map seems to be not designed to give the players a chance to fight back. So for respawn to try and fix war games at least, there are at least two areas they can focus on that is more personal cover and harvester location. This is what I recommend personally, but you may have a different idea as to how you could protect it. Firstly, if Respawn can adjust the location of the harvester to be placed near the landing pad of the settled down helicopters located around the map, this could provide the players a much better chance of survival, as at one point they can use the settled down helicopter as cover, while the harvester will be placed in an area that, although vulnerable, can be protected by said titan on ground through the use of their own shields or through just themselves, using themselves as a extra bit of layer. Although they'll be soaking up damage themselves, it could provide extra protection just for that harvester. But this is only an exception if you're playing the other titans such as Ion, Legion, Scorch, or even Ronin. If you're going to play North Star Monarch, that's kind of risky in your end, since they don't have personal shield. At the same time, I feel like maybe they should add in more pilot cover as well as it can help with preventing players dying so much and respawning. The cover they can add in the game can be something simple, such as a broken down car, or containers, or wooden boxes that can be destroyed over time. 
or maybe some manual covers that you see some of the IMC grunt use to provide yourself with extra cover. Just anything that can allow the player to survive a bit longer, either on the ground or on the buildings. Now these are just two simple recommendations and these might not even help with improving more games as a whole. But to be quite honest, anything would be fine as long as it made the map more playable in harder difficulties. Because the moment it hits insane mode, no one plays it. Unless you're someone that enjoys a bit of danger and a bit of a challenge every once in a while. So that is the end of my video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did then by all means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't then by all means leave a dislike, I understand and I know what to improve on in the nearby future. So once again guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.